Hey guys, what's up? Evil Hammer 6 here, and I just um, finished the new quest, The Birthright of the Doors, which is a Grandmaster quest. Um, the fight at the end was fairly annoying. I finally um, just literally uh, I went and grabbed um, uh, one of my adrenaline potions. I died quite a few times, and I just started slapping um, that one, the Grimhaven guy, I don't know, with uh, I would use Berserk and just hit him as fast as possible because for some reason stunning him was not working. Um, so this is the uh, the Chaos Giants that were released after the quest is done. You have access to the drop the new well I mean new is kind of an understatement but Dragon Battle Axes. I'm not sure what the point of them is. I was trying to get one but um, they are fairly annoying actually. Uh, they're really high level. They have what is it? I'll attack the other one and see how much exact HP they have. I'm not sure offhand. Um, but Cordell and up, Cordell up assigns them, so you need access to him for a Slayer monster. And they have really, really shitty drops. So they have 25,000, what, 20, 22,500 HP. Um, and other than the Dragon Battle Axes, they really have shitty drops. They have access to a bunch of seed drops, which are atrocious. Um, and then they drop runes, which are pretty atrocious. They don't even drop a decent amount of runes. They're, they're like 37 like water runes and like a bunch of worthless shit as you can see in my inventory. I have a um, bunch of worthless seeds like strawberry, limp root seeds, um, like terramon seeds, spirit weed seeds, like nothing even worth like a thousand coin. Um, oh, there's an offhand dragon throwing axe and a dragon throwing axe. Okay, these are supposedly rare. So I've probably killed maybe 10 of them so far. Um, now, the main hands um, are, you can buy at the store, I think? I'm not sure. But right now, I know the off hands are like 50k, and for some reason, the main hands are really low. They're only like a couple hundred GP each, uh, or I'm not sure why. Um, now, they really don't, they do drop some charms. They drop uh, 4 to 11% of crimsons, and they drop a decent amount of blues also. Uh, I haven't picked up any because I'm too lazy. But I guess it give you decent prayer experience. I do not know if they become unaggressive after you stay in here for a while. But right now, uh, as you can see, they're all aggressive to me and they're all fighting me. So actually what would be very helpful right now is if you did... Um, I do have my Drag Wars out. But with the Drag Wars, you only have one ultimate or one ability that is multi-combat, which is Flurry. So if I use it here, as you can see, I'll attack all... Well, just these two because they're so fat they can't sit next to each other, but they can range you. So if you had um, a two-handed weapon such as a god sword or even a uh, chaotic maul, what you could do is you could use the hurricane ability um, and it has another one. What's the other one? The hurricane one and then there's another one. It's the smash, um, the quake one and then there's one also one that cuts through which is cleave. It'll hit ones that are behind like ones that are in a row, it'll hit the one behind it. Muddy keys aren't that much, guys. They're only about, um, as you can see here, I got one of those. They're about 2K each, um, so that's really not worthwhile either. As you can see, you could basically stay here for a while just using Soul Split. Um, I have, I don't, I don't know what armor you, um, how Bandos does, but I just have my Tetsu on uh, with my Drag Wars, of course. Um, but that's all these things drop, other than some coins. Um, the amount of coins it drops is negligible, whereas and you probably don't even care to pick them up. So that's about it. Um, along with the rewards that you get from this other than this is access to the other new Dragor weapons um, and the uh, you get a decent amount of um, Slayer, ex not Slayer experience, uh, sorry guys, mining experience and smithing experience, 100 each. Um, and if you do the, oh gosh, I'm getting smashed to death now, guys. <laughs> if you, uh, at the end, there's Chronicles things that you can mine. If you do that, you can get about another 250k experience, but you need from level 86 to, um, 86 to 95, I believe, mining to get all of them, and I don't have 95 mining, so I didn't get all of them. I got about about 190, 180k experience. I missed about, I think, two of them. So, 
Okay, as you get further in, you see that more of them attack you. So I'd suggest if you're going to do this, stay back here by the entrance. Watch when I, I'll, I'll exit real quick and I'll enter back in. Um, let me do my healing ability. Maybe not. If you stay close to the entrance, they don't do as much damage. Um, and we'll go sell this on the GE real quick because I'm just curious to see how much they are. But I want to show you guys where you should stay. Also, you get 30 rune bars, 30 adamant bars, and 30, 30 mithril bars um, after completing the quest. And all these are a decent chunk of money too. Well, it's 500k. So you're rewarded for your time. The quest itself is not that long. Um, so that is a nice thing. Uh, it's just annoying for some of the parts that you have to do. And it's there, you have to like collect chronicle fragments, basically, is what I mean. They're like floating around as fast as hell. It's like Hunter, like catch, catching butterflies, except they like run around the room and it's really annoying to catch them. But other than that, it's fairly easy. Now, as you can see here, I only have two of them attacking me. So if you hide away from them, for some reason, they can't see with these rocks. I mean, I walked in here, I was like, what the hell? They're huge as hell. Um, but they can't see over the little bitty rock, which makes no sense. They should have made this more like a cavern with giant rocks. Um, but this, uh, the concept art that they released, well, that um, the people, the community came up with, looks fairly close to these giants that they did release. So that is kind of cool um, that uh, the community did get to be involved and uh, uh, basically create a piece of the concept that went into the game. Um, now, how effective Jagex made it is kind of bad because their drops are atrocious, especially for being such high level um, and taking so long to kill them. 22k health each, um, and the best thing to drop is the, uh, the obviously the dra dragon stuff. But how long that will be useful in the game is known to be not very long because dragons only level 70 equipment, and there's a lot better ranging equipment to use um, than this stuff. So we'll go to the uh, the uh, Grand Exchange real quick and see how much I can sell these for. Also getting here is uh, fairly annoying. You have to go on that boat that is on the east side of Keldegrim at the north um, of the river and then you have to go uh, for all, all the way far east to get to the cavern and then you have to run all the way through the cavern just to get to them. So it takes quite a bit of time to get to them. <coughs> and let's see here. We'll go ahead and Go to Verok real quick and see how much I can get for these on the GE. I'm assuming not that much because I know last time I checked the, mm, well, when I was looking at prices, these were 50k each, but they were crashing really quick, which I mean, I don't know why they would even release them at 50k because they're obviously going to crash because they're just dragon equipment. Okay, so sell uh, my offhand. So we'll just go ahead and put it at 30k because as you can see they start at 50k they're crashing. Um, they're not even selling at 30k and these ones, these are the main hands. Now I'm assuming these are going to be like 20k each. Let's see, 20k. Now those didn't sell, okay. So obviously they're somewhere between 10 and 20k I'd assume. Let's see, 10k. Uh, clicky, 10k. 29k, okay, so 29k, and then for this, let's see what I get. 29k, so let's go ahead and sell these at 29. Oh no, I already sold it, I tried to sell it at 10 and 20k. 29k, so let's see, now those don't even sell at 10k. So these are pretty horrible, guys. I mean, for the rare loot, that's pretty bad. You're not gonna get that much uh, gold out of it. Um, 5,000 coin, maybe? Not even 5,000, guys. Okay, I'm just going to sell GE price, see what I get. Um, oh, 10,000 coins. So I got a total of 39,000 coin for that rare drop. Woohoo! So that's pretty bad, guys. But that's about it. Uh, reviewing the quest, the Gilded Dragon Pickaxe. I will have to come out with, um, do a little guide on how to get it. Um, well, not the Gilded Dragon Pickaxe, it's the new pickaxe that they released. Which is called the um, the what is it? The Incando pickaxe. I'm not sure where they. I mean, obviously people helped make the name for it. That was a uh, regicidal that helped with that, which I do appreciate. I do like his uh, guides and well, not guides, but videos that he posts. But uh, we'll see how long it takes me to get because I have to get a Gilded Dragon pickaxe first. So I'll let you guys know what happens with that when I get to it. So I'll see you later.